we've just found this awesome free camp. So it is on the Dampier Peninsula. It's called Kondol. And we did drive through south, couldn't get a spot. And halfway between there and north. Look at this. Right there. There's actually some whales at the moment flapping their tails. It's beautiful. Here comes Miles, I've had to turn the camera around for you. gonna get the max tracks out I think. He just refuses to put his tires down. He just makes life so much harder than it needs to be. He's like oh we'll just see how we go if we have put our tires down. I reckon he'll try again before he actually does it. Oh I was wrong. He wanted to make himself Life easier for himself, so we're letting down. Hey? We got here, 100 meters, <laughs> and we still got to head down. Oh well. <laughs> Max tracks? No. Uh. What's the plan? Oh, I've got to clear the van tires a bit. Okay. God, these babies have come out more in the last couple of days <laughs> than ever. <laughs> Where are we up to? I think we've tried about five or six times now. Max tracks just aren't cutting it, so we're going to try a different angle and a different approach. Hopefully this is more successful, we're not giving up yet. See why no one else is here and all the other spots are taken, but we'll just keep trying. <laughs> It's a keeper too, now get it off your hook. Nah, you do it here. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> Alright, so according to Wikicamps, there is some dinosaur footprints. So we're going to follow Wikicamps on the map. Apparently the point is bang on. So we're going to go find them now with the kids. The tide is coming in, so hopefully we can get out there quick enough. Yes, yeah, so that'll be another one there in front of you. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, all the ferns yeah. and stuff are here too. Yeah. Oh, here. This, this is a wicked one. Mm. Oh, yeah. That is a good one. Oh, it's this one then. Mm. I wonder what it must have been like a. Um, one of those balls. two footed ones. Yeah, it's just crazy that the water hasn't, like, the ocean hasn't eroded them away much yet. Do you know one of the fastest swimming dinosaurs? Yeah, that's a giant. Wow. Yeah, it looks like here's another one, see? Yeah. yeah. Yep. I am a dinosaur. Well, it was really cool. We found the dinosaur footprints. So find the ferns and follow wiki camps and it'll get you right there. Kids are now just enjoying the rock pools as the tide comes in. So there's plenty to do here. And then later on we're going to go do a bit of a recce and um, check out James Price Point. Alright, we 
we've just come out for the day to James Price Point just to see what the sights were like and if we wanted to bring the van down or not. I'll tell you what, I reckon the corrugations was worse than most, if not all, of the gib. So that's a call that you'll have to make. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> um, we just ran the drone around so some yeah. wicked photos though, like it's so picturesque. But yeah, I'll show you the sights. So. It's absolutely gorgeous, beautiful spot. I reckon where we are is better. Um, yeah, I don't know. Easier to access. Wait, you want to bring the van here? Oh, you should see the scratches on the roof of the car. <laughs> All right, so for dinner tonight, we're doing a roast lamb and I'll show you how this looks. I'm absolutely loving these trivets from Weber. It just turns out perfect all the time. So you get them in like a pack of 15 with the trays and the, so we bought like the starter pack where we got the pizza stone, the trivet, and then we got the small frying pan and it's absolutely been amazing. I don't think I'd go without them now. They're like, they're great to cook on. And yeah, the roast just turns out perfect. You can reuse the bottom tray uh, a few times in a row. I think, you know, it just depends on what you're cooking, but they work really, really well and the roasts turn out perfect and you don't get the burnt on the bottom. So um, we really love it. So that's what it is. And you just get them from Weber Shop, so you can get them online. But yeah, definitely rate that product. It's great. So, but yeah, have a look at that. <laughs> what do you got here, Hazel? A little mud crab. <laughs> I found that one in I didn't want to happen. You want to do some for bait? Are you going to do some for bait? We'll let him go. No, I'm going to do that. Hey, you been there. Looks good. We like our meat a little bit on the red side. Um, personal preference, but it's nice and juicy. Oh, how cool was that? We were just sitting here, uh, Crystal's doing some work, and a pack of dolphins just went past. So, or a pod, I think they're called. That's the pod. definition of pod of dolphins. And they had a little baby too, and we actually got them catching a fish on the drone. So that's pretty cool. We'll pop all that footage in now. But what an amazing experience to see dolphins this close, riding the waves in, and getting some food for the little one. Good this when the tide goes out there's these little rock pools that the kids can swim in. Yeah too small.
hot. All right, so tonight we're gonna have a dessert. Uh, it's been a while since we've had a treat, so we're in town today, we bought some ice cream, and uh, we're gonna make, what I normally do is make like an apple cake um, on the campfire, but we have no apples, so I thought we had apples. We still had a packet mix, but no apples, so we're substituting tonight, and we're gonna do peaches, and a bit of leftover fruit. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook it in the cake tin in the camp oven, and then we're just gonna put some peach slices in the bottom. There's a bit of leftover fruit as well. And then we mix this packet mix up. And then we chuck it in the camp oven for about oh, half hour or so. And it, uh, it is absolutely delicious. So we'll make it up now and then we'll show you what it looks like before we stick it in. All right, so it's all made now and this is what it looks like at the end. Uh, you do leave the juice, a uh, bit of juice, not all the juice, just a little bit of juice. Uh, and we mix it up in the Thermomix. So we'll stick that in the camp oven for about half an hour and we'll show you what it looks like. Mm, there we go. Oh. Like this. All right. A bit much for everyone. Yeah. Is it ready? Give it a little bit more. All right, that's it for us in the Dampier Peninsula. I tell you what, it's a great spot up here. Getting up to Signet Bay and then coming back over and doing the rest of the top of the west coast is a pretty nice spot. Uh, you do have to be mindful of crocs; they are around the area, but we didn't see many. Just the one. Yeah, one, one here at Quandong Bay. Uh, most of these free camps on wiki camps have a 72 hour limit on them But when you pull in there's no signs or anything saying there's a 72 hour limit So I don't know where that's come from. Yeah, not but, sure. But yeah, there's there's nothing at any of them that says so we've driven to all the free camps up this coast uh, And they're all pretty good. Yeah, James Price Point and Kwandong Bay are probably our two picks uh, We just didn't go to James Price Point because the road was pretty crap from Kwandong to James Price Point And we didn't want to drag the van over it for no reason so yeah, very corrugated. It, worse than the gib. Yeah. Right? It was terrible. So, <laughs> yeah. so it's up to you. I mean, if you want to do it, go for it. It's beautiful. You can't go wrong. Yeah, we did better fishing at James Price Point as well. Um, yeah, here at Kwandong, we didn't get anything really. So, nah. but yeah, what an amazing spot. Absolutely beautiful. Any of these free camps are great along the coast. Willy Bay was also really good. Unfortunately, we did lose some drone footage, so we don't have drone footage of Willy Bay, but it is an amazing spot too, but very small. But yeah, we're going to head back into Broome now, do the famous staircase to the moon, and then start heading south down the west coast. Alright guys, let's get going. Mm -hmm. 